your forecast first. Sponsored by Natex Heating, Cooling, and Plumbing. Well, you can kind of see almost the haze that is starting to develop across the area with the heat and humidity here. As our roofing dog, Inet, Bratcher Weather Camera shows some fair weather cumulus clouds. We've got a temperature of 86, but it feels a lot warmer than that when you factor in the humidity. That 86 turns into a 93 in Champaign. Feels like 95 in Springfield, and it's about to get a lot worse as we head into the weekend. Clear skies for the most part. Storms to the south, and as we look at this evening, again, lots of sunshine and warm temperatures. We'll talk about how it's going to feel like 100 and even warmer, and for how long when we come back. WCI 3D News starts right now. Now from WCIA3 News. Come Ed, cops to corruption. Could a federal bribery case bring down the longest standing speaker in U.S. history? Next on WCIA. Beating the heat is going to be a goal for many this weekend, but there are some ways you can find relief you might not have thought of. And some conferences are canceling tackle football this year, so one group is looking at an alternative instead. You're watching your local news leader. This is WCIA 3 News at 6. ComEd admitted that its efforts to influence and reward public official A began in or around 2011. Public official A is House Speaker Michael Madigan, and the state's largest power company is admitting to a bribery scheme to pay off the Speaker's friends. Good evening, I'm Jennifer Roscoe. The swirling corruption scandal escalated today when federal prosecutors announced they reached a deal with Commonwealth Edison. The company will pay $200 million in fines and avoid criminal charges. But as our Capitol Bureau Chief Mark Maxwell reports, the company has agreed to cooperate in the ongoing criminal investigation into Speaker Madigan. Public official A controlled what measures were called for a vote in the Illinois House of Representatives. That description only fits one person, Illinois House Speaker Michael Madigan. Friday afternoon, federal prosecutor John Lausch described an insider deal between Illinois' biggest power brokers and biggest power company. ComEd admitted that it arranged for jobs and vendor subcontracts for public officials A, uh, A's political allies and workers and that those people performed little to no work that they were purportedly hired to perform. ComEd also acknowledged that he made these payments to these political associates and workers in order to influence and reward public official A's efforts to assist ComEd with legislation. If these allegations of wrongdoing by the speaker are true, there is no question that he will have betrayed the public trust and he must resign, therefore. We asked Speaker Madigan if those accusations were true back in October of 2019. Now, a spokesperson appears to walk back, issuing a more specific statement, saying, quote, the speaker has never helped someone find a job with the expectation that the person would not be asked to perform work by their employer, adding he has never made a legislative decision with improper motives and has engaged in no wrongdoing here. Former federal prosecutor and legal analyst Renato Mariotti says just because ComEd won't face criminal charges doesn't mean their former employees won't. Uh, everyone else is fair, uh, fair uh, game. So potentially ComEd uh, senior staff, uh, presumably they have their own attorneys and they're concerned about being charged. What isn't clear, of course, is whether uh, there's sufficient evidence to charge Speaker Matt. Now, Speaker Madigan faces mounting calls to step down, including from House Republican leader Jim Durkin and Senate Democrat Melinda Bush. But he didn't become the longest tenured speaker in American history by bowing to the first signs of pressure. There's no indication that the man known as the Velvet Hammer intends to hand over his gavel anytime soon. Reporting in Springfield, Mark Maxwell. We now have obtained a copy of the federal subpoena submitted to Madigan's office. There is more information inside. It's up now on our website where you can read it all at WCIA.com. A Shelbyville school board member is responding to his resignation after making racist and homophobic comments on social media. Last night, Keith Baim stepped down from the board. He posted comments on Facebook that the school board found to be unacceptable. You can see his comments here. In response to a post about violence and crime, the nature of the comments 
comments were discriminatory, racist, and homophobic. Bame sent WCIA a statement on his resignation. It reads in part, quote, I speak the truth. If that offends you, too bad. I am not a racist. My friends and those that matter to me know that. What I am is a citizen who cares for all willing to help those in need. You can read his full statement at WCIA.com. An Atwood couple is in jail accused of spanking a child too hard. Anthony Drake and Caitlin Hutchinson are both charged with the aggravated battery of a child. Drake is the four-year-old's father. An affidavit says the child had to be taken to the hospital. Drake was previously on parole for drug charges. A Charleston man is accused of sexually assaulting a child five years ago. 22-year-old Scott Ross was arrested this week and has been charged. State police say when Ross was 17, he assaulted a child under the age of 13 in Cumberland County. There was a house fire in Paxton overnight. It happened near South Fall Street and Eastview Drive. There were two people inside asleep at the time. They escaped, but two cats died. The cause is still under investigation. Today is a hot one, and the next few days will offer no relief. And luckily, there are a lot of options for anyone looking to cool off. WCI3's Courtney Bunting has more on ways to do it. The summer sun is already beating down on us, and it's not stopping anytime soon. Heat advisories are in effect for the next few days, and many of you will be looking for some way to deal with it. <laughs> One great option for enjoying the summer sun while still staying cool are the splash pads. Champaign Park District has two of them, one here at Hessel Park and another at Douglas. Weather's beautiful, a little hot, but the water keeps them cool. Mother Casey Isaacson says it's a great way for kids who are feeling cooped up. Well, they make friends pretty quick, so nice for them to meet new people and just have a good time. But that heat can be more than just uncomfortable. It's also dangerous for those without a home with air conditioning. That's why CU at Home will be open as a cooling center despite COVID-19. Generally when the heat index is over 100, um, we will open up for emergency cooling hours. Heat stroke, heat exhaustion, um, those factors can affect our friends just as much as the cold. So having a place for folks to come where they feel comfortable, where there is cold water available, where there is the air conditioning, and where there's caring people that can check in with them. And if you still want to spend time outside, but don't feel like putting on a swimsuit, you can always opt for a good spot in the shade. In Champaign, Courtney Bunting, WCIA 3, your local news leader. The cooling center is open from noon until 7 tomorrow and Sunday. They are mostly manned by volunteers on those days, and they are looking for more. If you want to get involved, just head to our website. Many of you asked what that camera was on I-74 near Oakwood. We found the answer. If you noticed it, it's in the underpass one mile west of the Oakwood interchange. It belongs to IDOT. It's called a weigh-in motion camera. They use those photos for data collection, and it only takes pictures of semis and records their weight. The governor has seen his fair share of lawsuits during the pandemic. Now he's the one suing. We will tell you what over. Also tonight, what type of news do you like to hear? How about this? How one group of kids decided to put on some newscasts of their own. Better watch out. Oh, yes. She can have it. <laughs> <laughs> you can take over the rest of those newscasts. I'm good. Friday. I'm good. You're good, right? All right, 87 and 64, highs and lows for today. When we come back, more about this heat advisory that's in effect. Which days will be the hottest and when we'll see the rain chances return.